Hello, everybody. I am Robert Diltz. And I am Stephen Gilligan. And uh, we have had a more than 40 year partnership together and are co founders of the International Association of Generative Change, which is an organization uh, whose purpose is to help people really release their creative potential. And we certainly need to release that right now. We have such unbelievable challenge facing us, this incredible tidal wave of the coronavirus. It's, it's hitting everywhere, creating an almost unthinkable crisis. And sadly, the worst is yet to come. And in these types of situations, uh, what often happens is that we either face a, a breakdown or the other potential is we break through to new and creative possibilities. We see that happening already. One of the silver linings in this very dark cloud is the different people and groups that are stepping out and doing these incredibly humane creative things for their communities and for the world. And we are incredibly blessed to have um, a group of translators who are joining us today, uh, speaking in uh, eight different languages to transmit this course, um, this presentation through, uh, throughout the world. So thank you to our translators. Thanks to the thousands of people in the generative change community Thanks to the team that performed really a miracle in less than a week, bringing this all together. And uh, you'll notice that Stephen and I are speaking a little bit more slowly and pausing between uh, than we might usually do. And that's so that our translators have the opportunity to make sure that we are getting um, our message out to all of, all of the listeners around the world. So we want to organize this first 30 minute, 30 minute um, presentation into three parts. First is we want to talk just a little bit about what it means to be in a creative state. Second part is that we want to then guide you through a series of steps with which you yourself can enter into that creative generative state. And third, we're going to invite you to use the creative space to attune to the question, what can I do that can be helpful for myself and for my community? So, the foundation of all our generative change work is that the way in which we respond to any situation is going to be dependent on our inner state of mind, our inner state of consciousness. So if we're in a negative state, if we're tense, anxious, if we're numb, if we're angry, all that's possible to experience or be able to do is more negativity. But if the state of our filters is more creative, that is, we're, we're centered, we're open, we're alert, we're connected to our resources, then we have the possibility for other, you know, other options uh, for many choices. So we face the choice, do we want to be in a negative state and create more negative realities, or we want to be in a positive state and be part of the solution for ourselves and everything and everybody we love. We, we assume, of course, that because you have joined us today that uh, you would like to take that second choice, that is to really um, 
enter into a realm of new possibilities. In the core way we, we talk about this positive state is through the term coach. It's that what that stands for. Our three, our, our set of inner qualities um, that determine um, the, this creative possibility that we have. The C centered, the O open, the next, uh, the A is aware, connected, and holy. Hospital, hospitality. Centered, open, aware, connected positively, welcoming whatever is there. So let's very briefly touch upon what each of those means. The first, center. It means dropping out of your head where you're trying to understand, analyze, and control everything is your primary base and letting yourself relax and drop down to this core inner place where there's wisdom, calm, clarity, and compassion. And from this place of a, a inner physical, uh, both physical and um, energetic somatic center, we then open to what else is possible, open our minds, open our hearts, you know, open a space of new possibilities. Centered, open, this allows awareness to flow through you like a river, able to positively, without judgment, with clarity, be able to feel awareness in each moment as it flows through you. Centered, open, aware, and then the next quality is connect. We say, especially in a time of crisis like this, we want to connect beneath it and connect beyond it uh, to our inner resources and an outer field of resources that supports us. This allows us to awaken the fifth part of the creative state, which is hospitality. This is a way of safely, creatively, skillfully, with curiosity, give a space for everything that's happening in a way that allows you to have a positive connection to it all. So when you are centered, open, alert and aware, connected to your resources, you can hold a space uh, to be with, we say to be with whatever is there without being overwhelmed by it, without becoming it. And uh, this is what we would like to guide you through um, in terms of uh, how to create this state and enter this state for yourself. Center. Open the problem, feel the flow of awareness, connect positively, intention, center, resources, and welcome, creatively engage with whatever is there. And from this state, then we'll move into setting a, an intention for creative action. So let's see how we can develop this coach state, shall we, Robert? Yes, <laughs> I think that's a good idea. We are gonna begin, of course, uh, Stephen will begin with taking us to this place of center. So we're gonna ask you to find a good settled posture for relaxed awareness. You can stand up, you can sit down, what we're looking for is relaxed awareness. So we say this first part before we center even is we're going to settle in, settle down, uh, 
but take a few conscious breaths to begin to bring your awareness to yourself, to your body. And say, I come back to my center. I come back to my bay. I relax my tension. I take a nice deep breath all the way in. Hold it. And then as you exhale, just release all the tension, all the negativity. We sometimes say, slow down, pause, breathe. And as you begin to tune to that, we invite you to remember a time or a place or a person where you felt this deep, positive, loving connection. Let yourself breathe in and remember you have known times of deep, creative, aware love before. Where, when, with whom. And if you sense one of those, just ask yourself to sense, where do you feel that most deeply in your body mind? If you were to talk from that place, if you were to sing from that place, if you were to walk from that place, where is that? And take your hands and just place that. I come to my center. I relax and bring myself to my center. And center. From that first part of the coach state center, we then open. And I would really invite you now as you stay deeply connected to this place of inner well being to then open your mind, open your heart, open to this bigger field of possibilities. Uh, this sense that there is something more, there is something uh, that is, is yet to be brought into our lives. There are many more resources. And you may want to actually also just even be saying to yourself, I am open, I am opening opening my heart, opening my mind. And as you do, perhaps find a movement, a gesture that expresses that sense of opening to something more, opening to something creative. So those are the two bases. And, and as you say it, find a simple movement. I drop into my center of calm presence. Find a movement in the place you touch. And then I am open to possibilities. I am open to creativity. And again, find a movement that expresses that. And this is something that can anchor you, that can ground you, that can keep you in that positive state. There, we add a third affirmation. I feel the river of consciousness flow through me, awareness, nothing stuck, nothing judgmental, just witnessing with each breath, love, curiosity. I feel the flow of awareness. And let yourself find a third movement, center, open, awareness flow. And as you breathe that through, we go to our fourth quality, which is connection. So center, open, aware. And this notion of connection is about connecting to our own inner resources, but also connecting to the resources around us, um, resources from our past, from our ancestry, 
from our families. Um, really at a time of challenge like this, it's important to know how I can connect to this, all of the resources that are there. Our resources in nature could be the ocean, mountains, um, could be friends. What can you connect to uh, that allows you to have that sense of resourcefulness inside? And again, as you think of some of these connections, uh, find a gesture, a movement for that kind of connection. Connection head to heart, to belly, to body, to, to the earth. And so we add this to our creativity dance. I tune to my calm, aware center, make a movement. I open to that field of new possibilities. I open beyond problems, open to this uh, larger sense of possibility. Make a movement. And I feel awareness flow through me like a river, non judgmentally, always flowing. Make a movement. And I connect to all of my resources inside of me and beyond me, in my history, in the natural world around me. And we make a movement of connection. And from there, we have the fifth part, welcome. From the centered, mature, grounded, safe space. I open whatever is there, negative things, positive things, thoughts, feelings, other people, welcome. Even perhaps of you, as you've started to practice with us, you might notice that there are certain kinds of anxieties, disturbing thoughts that can come. And when we can create this space that's big enough, they can be there without overtaking us, without taking us into some place of what we call crash, of contraction, or reactivity. So we just hold that space. Great, great. This is something that we can do every day 10 times, 15 times. Just take that moment to center, open, be aware and alert, connect, and hold that space of hospitality for whatever is there. And from here, we take a, a second step, because once we can be with what is, uh, with all of our, uh, including all of our fears, all of our doubts, we can then begin to say, what action do I want to take? Uh, what is the creative action, the creative intention? So the question, of course, is what can I do that might be helpful to me? Always start with yourself. What can I do that might be helpful to others? This is not a question to be answered in your head. It's a question to hold in the deepest places in yourself. What can I do to be helpful to myself and to others? So let's try the second part out within the coach state. I'm going to ask you to come back to the coach state. Remember the five steps. I relax and drop into my center. 
and let a movement be with that. I open to a space beyond that challenges, open to a space of creative possibilities and make a movement. I feel like a river of flowing consciousness. No judgment, changing in each moment, witnessing that a movement goes back. I connect to all of my resources within me and within the field of resources around me, my ancestors, to nature, to my friends, to all of those resources, and I make a movement. From there, you just create a safe, open place where you can invite everything, just like a tea ceremony. Welcome. Tea, welcome. Tea, welcome. And from this safe space, this place of um, deep interconnection and creativity, we drop this question into that. What can I creatively do to help myself and to help others? What can I do that can be helpful to me and to help others? And just for a moment, sit with that question. Breathe. Hold the question. Don't try to jump to answers or jump to solutions. Just let the question be there and see what comes. Then when you notice anything coming, we can represent it in a gentle, rhythmic, three-part statement. For example, first is words. You might say, one thing I might do, what's, what's there for you? Maybe take time for me, or talk with my loved one, or make a contribution to my community. What might you do? And we invite you to keep these words simple. We usually like to say less than five, five or less. If I could just express something simple, what would it be? A second way of holding this question is through inner imagery, uh, using your imagination of what picture comes to you. Uh, it might be an image of yourself doing something. Um, could also be a symbolic image, but you want to use your mental imagination to open to this creative possibilities. Just let the image go. Just let it go. Maybe I see myself with somebody, see myself supporting somebody or doing something uh, to uh, make a difference. Or I see a beautiful sunrise over the ocean. Just let it come. Just let it come. And so we want to represent our creative intention with words, what I really want to do that could be helpful is. We want to then represent also this creative intention with images, especially color images of possibility. A color image that might go with that.
thirdly, we want to do it with what we call a somatic model. What would be a movement or a gesture that would express this creative action, this creative possibility? Don't think it in your head. Ask your body to find a simple movement. So let's just put this together and go through the three part statement slowly. So the question is, what can I creatively do to help myself and to help others? One thing I might do is let's see what word or words in the deeper mind. The color image that goes with those words is, and notice what picture or imagery comes. Yeah. If I let my body find a simple movement that represents that, that's your beautiful to make it look like. Let's do it one more time. What can I do creatively to help myself and to help others? And let a word or a few words come. Let an image begin to form. And let the physical movement be there. So just let yourself do that on your own here for a minute or so. I'm always to, I come to my center center, I open to what's possible. I feel my positive connection. That river of awareness flowing through me. I make room for everything that is here. And then I bring my creativity into action. I drop this question. What can I do to help myself, to help others? One thing I could do is... Color image that goes with that is... A simple somatic movement. That's something that we share with you is something that you can do throughout the day. Rather than worrying, rather than isolating, let's use this crisis to awaken. And as we begin to bring this first session to a close, um, we want to remind you that this is just the beginning um, to how we can create a new positive response. And it's going to require, um, again, one of the things that we say is um, we become what we practice. So we really want to invite you to find some time, to set aside some time to just Take a moment to do this uh, several times, multiple times each day. And for these times where most of us are at home, 10, 12, 15 times. Every time you find yourself worrying or getting discouraged, come back to coach. And in these times of isolation, it's also important that we reach out to others and we support and get the support of others 
So we also invite you to share this practice with people that you care about. So we intend this session to be those first two steps. Tomorrow, we'll add a few more steps in terms of sensing what it would actually mean to live this creative intention into your everyday world. How can we go about beginning to put this into concrete action steps? What are some of the things that you can begin to do? So there will be some listing on the uh, YouTube screen afterwards about where you can go, how you can connect further. Um, for all, uh, we want to bring this to a close by saying um, thank you so much yeah. for the commit commitment to to be a positive force. And, and thank you so much to all of the team that has made this possible, the, the many people who are working, our, our interpreters, all of our technical people, uh, all of our IAGC team that has done so much to uh, create this possibility and to follow up with it. We can be the change that we want. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. Okay. That was great, guys. That was really great. Uh, yeah. um, well done. Yeah. We did it. Unbelievable. It looked like we have the signal okay and all the languages. Yeah, we, we lost uh, Portugal when her Wi-Fi went out, but right. But but uh, she fixed it. So and then she finished. The only problem was that we couldn't get your voices quite loud enough. So towards the end, people said that's about the right balance. At least we we were fine tuning that. So I guess tomorrow it'll be better. The, the quality of uh, all translation was great. Just excellent in, in every language. Happy and. Guys, can I ask? They say that the sound is still working. They are hearing you in Brazil. In right the now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's, never dies. it's still going. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well. Thank you. Uh, Yuka san. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it where you are, Yuka? <laughs> uh, it's uh, one thirty in the morning. <laughs> okay. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah. I saw Bertrand. Uh, at what time are we going to meet tomorrow? You, Fyodor, you should tell us when we meet, not ask. Just a second. I, I'm asking. Yeah, uh, what, what about that? Okay. We, we, we just wait for a second from information for the Balodia. So could you please turn on your camera and, and smile and I will do print screen and send to everybody. Oh. Hey, Patrick. Okay. Hey. Beatrice. Hey. Okay. Everybody Balodia there. Too.